is that it tells us that our intelligence services have assessed the threat as being dangerous, so they clearly know that something is up. And we'll be oh returning to that conversation that in a few there? moments. We interrupt to bring news that the Ministry of Defence has reported what it refers to as a number of large order detonations in the seas off the coasts of Syria and Turkey. No details or confirmation of these reports attributed to local NATO observers have been received as yet, but it is understood that one of these attacks was targeted against key supply vessels carrying fuel and ammunition to NATO forces. We believe that there is footage of the attack from a military observation vessel, and we hope to have that shortly. In further breaking news, the government has taken control of British Airways and all cross-channel ferries. They say it's a temporary step to help move troops to Europe. Thousands are stranded at Heathrow and Gatwick, and the Royal Navy is to guard the North Sea oil rigs. The MOD have described it as a prudent precautionary measure. What do you mean, the Rex? And it is further dramatic like development in the growing international it's crisis. It's Russian troops have crossed the border into Estonia and Latvia. Look. International observers have reported a significant incursion involving an estimated 75,000 Russian troops and a number of tank divisions and missile engines. Heavy fighting has been reported and along the border areas, but Russian <laughs> forces have been invaded Estonia. the capitals of both Putin. countries. Russia. An estimated 15,000 So why them? What have they done? Making it unlikely that any significant defence of the territory can be achieved. Russian heavy armour divisions have surrounded the strategically important cities of Narva and Voru in Estonia and Gazan in Latvia in an attack led by elite Russian special forces. Russian troops and heavy armour divisions based in Belarus and in the Soviet enclave of Kaliningrad have also been massing across the border of Lithuania, with incursions of Russian fighter and surveillance aircraft already being reported in Lithuanian airspace. Oh, take the heads up there. The national heads up there. Up you go, Grace. Grace. In five minutes, Dad's going to bring you one up. In Washington, an emergency session of the United Nations Security Council is underway, and the Russian ambassador to the United States is currently meeting with senior officials at the White House in what is being described as a frank and earnest exchange of views about the growing international crisis. The the they've used nuclear weapons already. What do you mean they've used them? How have they used them? Already. On who? The naval fleets, British naval fleets, were 30 odd miles away from Vastly. Guys, come on. In former Soviet countries. Two minutes. It is not known whether the US president has had any direct contact with the Russian You probably won't have the phones on them anyway. the so-called hotline between the White House and the Kremlin. From where? The Cuban Missile Crisis has been used it. since the conflict started. What's that? The button What's that? And the US Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense, plus a number of other key political and military leaders, have left Andrews Air Force Base in Air Force One and are likely to remain airborne until the crisis has stabilized. Air Force One? Is that the President? Air Force One, the President? Yes. Nuclear forces to a high state of readiness. Uh -huh. America's strategic He's been evacuated as well as the Queen, so they're all right, they're all safe. So the Aye, very good. Anna, so where are you going then? Joining an already substantial contingent of naval vessels in international waters. In the UK, military and civilian the authorities are look, look, continuing look. their preparations to respond to the growing crisis. All non-essential and elective surgeries. Oh my God! What's that saying now? Look, look! What's that saying at the bottom? U.S. president. Non-critical patients to make way for potential casualties in the event of a So where's that, Dad? Where's that at the moment? A number of American B-52 long-range bombers and B-2. What's Theresa May appeals for calm? Theresa May appeals for calm. Primary forward staging base. There, yeah. British States Prime Minister Theresa May appeals for calm. US, what's that? S A. It is not known whether the bombers will See, be engaging directly commands. in the conflict off the coast of Syria, or whether they will be deployed to the Baltic states to defend Latvia and Lithuania against the Russian military invasion. Stuff, the B2 what's that? Where's that? Where is this? I don't know where this is. Doesn't say. Where's, where's, where's that? American surveillance aircraft along with Soviet aircraft. Where's that? 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 Where's that?
Russians push towards Germany and in doing so reclaim any region in this country that used to be in Soviet control. Poland for many years has committed Navy NATO early war warning and defense missile by. systems on its territory. So what is it is likely to be targeted by Russia mm. in any significant move of its army towards Just Western Europe. Large-scale evacuations have already been reported in Warsaw you and Krakow prompting fears that the movement Alex, of people away from major so? cities might interfere with the deployment of troops and military vehicles to key defence positions. Where's that? Where's that, Dad? All civilian and commercial air traffic oh, in the region has been suspended. Because you know better, I don't have a clue, so it doesn't really update you. have been initiated by the Polish government. The ages anti-ballistic missile know. system in the early stages of its implementation in Poland who is? has been Russia? activated. Although it is unclear how effective But then who's going to let them do Russia that? launch a large-scale nuclear first strike. Who? Look at the size of us compared to them. Sophie Jones, who was stationed with the British Navy somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea. But have you seen size of Russia? Any details of their exact location this is time. And we believe that they have updated information about the type of weapons used by Russia against NATO forces. Sophie, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Sophie, joining us on the call is our military advisor, Sir Norman Fairchild. Uh, I drink, drink, drink. First, can you tell us as much as you can about latest developments in the conflict? Well, things have been moving very quickly. From what started earlier today is a rumour that Turkish forces had fired on Russian jets to a situation where NATO and Russian forces have been firing directly on each other. As you know, there has been a significant presence of British and US warships and aircraft carriers in the region because of the ongoing conflict in Syria. But no one had anticipated that the situation could change so quickly, and there has been a great deal of confusion as NATO forces have tried to respond. We've already seen the Russian warships and the missiles, and we can report significant losses of NATO vessels and Navy personnel as a result. U.S. and British warships have been returning fire and sorties of fighter aircraft James. are engaging with Russian forces and as you can imagine, casualties are significant. Sophie, we believe that that now? What's that saying now? recorded not long ago, um, which we are keen to share with our military expert. Can you tell us something about this? Russian forces seize yes, control of the Yes, we do have footage from a stationary camera Liga. on board a NATO observation vessel, which was sailing Liga. close to a supply convoy carrying supplies, ammunition, and military equipment, which of course is critical to the ability of NATO forces to sustain this battle. We understand that Russian submarines have been using their torpedoes against back, supply convoys, Thank you. as well as warships and <gasps> aircraft that, carriers. But what is significant here is that in each case, a massive explosion has occurred, almost too big to describe. We have thought the torpedo has struck an ammunition storage vessel, but the fact that we have had at least three such explosions reported suggests look, 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 that this is look. not the case. They said they're going to bring it live in a minute. Take now, you'll see a distant view of the oh supply God. convoy, partially masked by one of the fuel tankers in the foreground, a couple of kilometres or so away from the camera. What happens then is just incredible. It seems to be a huge detonation underwater. Oh my god. The itself was at least a mile wide and must have wiped out at least 20 or 30 vessels in one go. Let's go straight to our military expert for his view on this incredible footage. Can you tell us what type of weapon you think the Russians are using? Well, I have to say that this is very disturbing. Oh my god, this is, is that going to bite that ship out? <gasps> by any means, and there is no doubt in my mind that the ship is going to be a nuclear ship. That's a cloud. I strongly suspect that they yeah. used a T5 nuclear torpedo, which generally has a weight of they're around 10 to 20 kilotons. Oh my bad. god, that's the same one, though, that's the same one, is it not just repeating that? And I have to say that this brings us into a completely different type of game. There is absolutely no way that NATO can compete against this type of weaponry no, by relying purely on its conventional it, it's forces. So the question is how they will choose to respond in light of these <gasps> developments. You know what? the fuck's that? We're just receiving reports that the Russian Air Force has bombed several military installations in Poland, Poland and the Russian Poland, tanks and heavy armoured divisions have crossed the border to the Belarus and Poland, she just west of the city of Brest which must surely mean that they were pushed directly towards the city of Warsaw. That's she? Did she say she pressed the buttons? What button? What bloody button? Sir Norman, what is your assessment of the situation given this latest news? 
for the hills out. Well, I can't say that it's especially surprising, but clearly this is a very worrying development. And there can be no doubt now that this is part of an orchestrated and premeditated strike by Russia against the West. The situation is on a knife edge. NATO will have to respond, but with the West is totally unprepared for this type of scenario, and the willingness of Russia to use battlefield nuclear weapons is likely to force the hand of NATO military leaders to respond. Where's that? Oh my God! What the hell's that? What the hell's that? Russia is far better prepared. So I think we're in serious trouble here. I'm sorry to interrupt. Let's continue the commentary, but we have breaking news of a significant explosion at Ironsfinedales in Yorkshire, the home of Britain's ballistic missile early warning system, in what appears to be the first direct attack against UK forces on British soil. They've done it already. Done what? They've done it already. Air Force Base in Greenland and on Clear Air Force Station in Alaska from what appears to be submarine launch ballistic missiles. Sir Norman. This is clearly a strategic move by Russian military commanders. Yes, all of these military bases are part of a network of early warning radar systems designed to detect a nuclear launch against the West and to help to target incoming nuclear warheads. NATO has quite a substantial anti-ballistic missile system, but it relies on accurate targeting. So without these advanced radar capabilities, it would be more or less shooting blind. It's pretty clear that we're going to get into a real shooting match very soon so i think we should who's that who's that because things Alex. go wrong very quickly she's not good uh, of course well done. the security environment in which we meet today is dark this uh, nuclear uh, saber rattling of uh, Russia. Yes. Uh, yes. What's the saber attack? It's, uh, uh, destabilizing and it's uh, dangerous. And uh, uh, this is something which we are addressing. And uh, uh, it's also one yeah, of the reasons the why we now are. Uh, what do you mean going north? Go, uh, what the, now? Yeah. 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 Uh, you're finished with the hit fast lane, you're uh, finished, that's sure what all the nuclear weapons are. Is, uh, really here. Uh, an I'm really hit here. Uh, Goodness will prevail over the forces of destruction. And we've just had more breaking news that thermonuclear bombs of undetermined strength have exploded oh, at NATO no. regional military headquarters in Brussels and Brussels? at a major US military Germany? and radar base in Wiesbaden, in Germany, resulting in the reported Brussels destruction Germany of the city of Mainz and the outskirts of Frankfurt. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Billy, go and get another vodka. No. I want to know what's going on here. This has never happened since World War II. Never. Stinky hat. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Confirmation of a nuclear <gasps> attack against this oh country has been received. Please stand by for further information. This is not a test. That's even funny, by the way. What, so what, what, what happens now? What, what? Jump that car and get to hell over here. To, oh, to where? To where? It's an emergency no broadcast from the BBC. Confirmation of a nuclear attack against this country has been received. Please stand by for further information. This is not a test. It's not a test. It's all about a repeat itself. You're in the firing zone. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Confirmation of a nuclear attack against this country has been received. The threat level is extreme, meaning that a major attack is imminent. All airports and motorways have been closed for military use. Non-essential no. telephone no. lines have been disconnected. No. No. Civilians are advised to stay indoors. Please stand by for further information. I've been, I've been drinking! Do you want to, I don't give a fuck. You can laugh. Fast lanes this to the road. This is an emergency <laughs> broadcast from the BBC. What do you want to do? Okay, the following locations have been identified by radar tracking as primary targets. Fucking email. Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds, Liverpool, Bristol, Glasgow. 